Now it's going to be the Turbo against Cat in the Hat Cyber Gamer um, Season 2 playoff game. This is the first round. This is the quarterfinals. Sextool, thank you very much for that follow as we just go straight into the game. Great way to start it. And it is going to be Adlin there. Turbo are on the attack. They're going to be going for the, 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 the destruction of the control straight away. Lots of lag from Wally. There's a, a bit of comedy there. As Voki, we've seen him do this before, go straight in for that plant. They're not expecting it. They they, they expect the throw over of the dynamite and uh, and like the delay. But really nice play from Voki, taking this first stage really really quickly. And I can't see any Axis respawning at the moment. They are respawning. They are going to try and reclaim. Risky risky plays. If they get killed out here, they've got too long to wait. And we're picking up Mazza. He's going to have to defend this ladder area. I can't see them pushing forward. He is actually going to get the engineers up. And they've got about 10 seconds before this is going to blow. Maybe less. Uh, three seconds, in fact. No time at all. Wally picks up a big four man. And that's going to shut down that push. And it's all open for the allies. They're going to be able to push towards the CP. Screw the CP. Uh, we've got Stati pushing in on the objective. He's really, really playing sneaky. He has got a bit of backup as well. No one's pushed out just yet. We're going to see it from a bit of a long range here. It is Stati. He's got, he had teammate support, he did get taken down, one more on the stairs, nice double kill from Tomba, Stati and Olden taken down, so that is a nice little recovery from, from Cat in the Hat, they have managed to just fend off the, uh, the attackers on this stage, and uh, the CP is now in allied hands though, and they're going to be able to respawn forwards, we're going to have a lot of turbo players coming across this bridge, five man push, very very group, they need to spread out a little bit, um, Someone's pushing through the door. It was Olden Sand. He did get taken down. And it looks like Stati is going to be able to pick up the objective. No Mazza shoots him from through the window. And three Cat and Hat kills come very, very quickly. This is really chaotic stuff at the beginning of this game. Um, Turbo pushing really, really well. Only like two minutes gone. They want to get a quick, quick time on this map. And it looks like Voki is the last one alive for Turbo. So that's another push shut down for Cat and Hat. Really, really well played. And uh, now Cat and Hat need to just try and get set up get a bit steady on their feet they've had to deal with a lot of pressure and it was sort of brought on by their poor decision to um to push on the controls they could have got set up very very early a lot of turbo players going to these back stairs uh can the hat managing to take them down but turbo are getting in quite a lot of kills wally does pick up the objective i think he got killed uh, now he's actually going to go across the bridge i'm going to watch it in free cam because i can't just insta spec it insta lock on him is he going to go straight for this he knows the timings. It's going to be pretty close. No, there are a couple of Cat in the Hat players there. So we're going to switch over. We're going to switch over someone on defense. We have got Mazza on this low door. He's going to be able to hear them coming. Rifle gets pinged in. He's going to be able to get the first kill. He only had to get one shot on him. Letu, in fact, uh, picked up that frag. Uh, team nades coming in. And it looks like this is going to be Turbox setting a pretty damn fast time. The respawn's going to come in. Wally or Swanidius will pick up that objective. And uh, it should be all clear unless we see some like amazing Panzer frag. Here it comes. Oh, the dodge from Voki. He did that by accident. Objective and that is a three minutes and ten second time. Really, really well played. Um, such such a fast time. We see that a lot on, on Adonis. But sometimes we see them get frustrated when they don't get in on the first uh, push or two. Let's have a little look at the stats. We saw Wally pick up a big four man at the beginning. That just stopped the, the chance of a defuse. I don't think they would have got there anyway. There wasn't enough time. I'll just pick up the stats again. Sorry about that. Um, the stats, though, don't really... Well, they do tell a story. They tell the story that allies had more kills, 50% more kills, pretty much, than than uh, than Axis. So the, defend, the attacking team had a lot more kills. And Turbo have come out of the blocks really, really strong. And on a map like Adlinus, that's what you want to do. You want to... Just get that quick 2-0 lead. They have got to defend though. 3 minutes and 10 seconds. They can still lose this quite easily. And uh, it's going to be up to Cat in the Hat to just put on the same sort of pressure that was put on them very, very early in the game. We need to see some nice rifle shots. We need to see some nice spam. They are dodging it a lot. Plant's going down from Haz. He's actually going to do the rush plant again. And it's worked for him as well. Um, Voki did exactly the same. Voki is on it now. He is going to get the defuse unless a nade comes in. RSP is in position. Oh, so unfortunate. And Voki spins around to get the kill as well. They they don't expect these quick rushes to get plants. They don't expect the quick rushes to get the fuses either. Um, and, and it's worked both times for both engineers. Unfortunately, that does spell a defuse though. Uh, as uh, Wally eats, eats a panzer from Mazza. 
and uh, although the, the turbo defense is holding on, they are getting weakened, very very weakened. Um, I'm gonna go free cam again. This first area can be very hard to keep keep her keep her full eye on. As the next allied pusher coming in, they're gonna deal with two Axis players. Respawn of Axis is actually coming as well, and we need to see an engineer plant. It's gonna be on Woot. He is dropping in. He's gonna have to eat. A, he's gonna eat a nade any second. The plant comes in as he gets insta gibbed. No, he decides to tap out. There is no engineer in position. Voki, although Calibri was on it, Voki is gonna start pushing in. Horrible team kill nade. Nade loops over. Nice work from Mazar. And I think this is gonna be this first stage. 100% in the books. Rocky's going to kill out. He knew it as well. And that's a pretty good hold. A minute and a half. So I is going a bit aggro here. I'm um, not sure what that's about. He probably didn't realise that they didn't defuse. Um, and it looks like we're going to be waiting at these doors. Trying to push through. We're going to see quite an early push for the back stairs. Maybe push towards pit as well. RSP. Again, uh, giving a little backup to Tomba. And Letu's maybe going to push pit. So... Could be a two three on one in the window situation and they need to get this revive a rifle is behind them they have the objective let two it's, oh, it comes up against two who push through the window and that's going to be that's going to shut down that attack although maza manages to pick up the objective he gets lugered by voki we saw voki pick up an amazing frag on on adlinest a week or so ago and he manages to save it again 49 seconds left Four-man, five-man push across this bridge. This is pretty much their last real attack, and there's no turbo defense. It's putting a lot of pressure on Voki once again. He picks up a double frag. Stati's going to try and push through. He will be taken down, though. And Voki again, is in position just to, just to hold it off. Uh, this guy is like the window master. Um, as uh, We're going to actually pick him up for this last 25 seconds. As uh, Voki picks up another kill. He Objective is the last taken. one on docks. They are going to maybe push through the spawn. They have indeed pushed through the spawn. I'm not sure how much time they've got. The respawn comes in and that's just going to it's going to put a nail in that coffin. There's no chance they're going to be able to get this. Five seconds remaining. Really nicely played it by Turbo. A lot of pressure from Cat in the Hat. You have to say well done to them as well. But that is going to be the first map to Turbo. Well deserved. I'm going to bring up the scores. It's not going to tell much of a story. Uh, you guys just have a look at that. I'm going to update my overlay for the scores now. You said the only problem I've got with that Ranziger is you could potentially be trolling me right now. And while... I would happily call someone a she if they were in fact female. I'm 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 not going to take that risk. I prefer to look like an idiot saying he because I didn't know than saying she because I got trolled. That's 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 my uh, that's my situation there. <laughs> Start randomly calling someone a she. It's like what? I'm not I'm not a girl. Why are you doing this to me on cast? So now the second map is Radar. I'm actually really, really happy about this, these two maps, guys. No gold rush, no supply. We don't see that very often. Um, it's nice to see some different maps. We could potentially see a really fast game. Radar is, you know, it has the potential to be just stupidly quick. Especially the way Turbo play it sometimes. They do that CP push with the, with the Kovi. Get that suit, do the triple boost sometimes. And get that flag without, uh, the CP, sorry, without too much of a problem. I think we've seen them set three minute, four minute times on this map before. Cat and the Hat just need to, you know, steady themselves. Adonest is one of those maps they could have won that in the end. I think it was pretty much the, the great play of Voki to get that double kill right at the end. Um, of one of the pushes. So we're just waiting on one to ready up. It is Woot. He's probably watching the stream like, why is he saying I'm a girl? I'm not a girl. Or <laughs> why is he saying I'm a man? I'm a woman? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Um, 
As uh, it looks like Turbo are going to attack first again. Uh, no, that in fact they are not. They are going to defend. We've got Stati on the Panzer. A bit slow coming out of this side area. He's going to push towards main. And they are grouping up a little bit. He, oh, it doesn't pick up any. Wally gets a triple four man. My god, keep going with this, Wally. Another four man for Wally. And that's amazing shooting from, uh, from him. I did say before the game, like, he isn't a player who relies on performing like this but when he does i mean you can just see the dominance generally positioned very well from when i watch him play and uh, he seems to have very very good game sense in terms of where your enemy is going to be and uh, of course nice team player and objective player as well but he's shooting today nice nice kills though from maza picks up that triple kill nearly makes it into flag and uh, the plant has gone down on side i'm gonna go a little free cam here we have got calibri on the inside they have not got a Kovi, so I don't think there's going to be too much pressure on uh, this before the door blows. Tombo is maybe going to try and push into flag, he's going to come up against two. Maybe a bit of a poor decision there, he's getting backed up by Letu. Push comes in against Swanee, and Swanee is going to take him down and drop Tomba as well. So really, really nice play from him. He was the last man alive at the flag as the respawn. Well, actually a bit of a rotation from main. Um, they're going to be able to push into the side area. Nice rifle grenade, that's actually going to clear it out. And uh, Haz can just hold position here. Here comes the Kovi. And they're going to get the CP in the opening minutes, guys. This is really, really well played. Oh, my God. What what an amazing play from Haz. Really, really smart. Um, clears it out. Gets that build. Along with uh, another engineer. engineer and, and just sort of senses the uh, rotation from Swanidius. That, that comes with a lot of experience. As, uh, he's going to push around the back of the tank depot. He's going to pu push onto east We've as well. Turbo are just bunker. nowhere to be seen. They, they were not at CP. They're the not east anywhere near part. east. Man. What is going on with this team? As the respawn comes in. Stati's actually going to pick up that yeah, secure. I think they got pretty fortunate there. Um, he was the only person there. It looks like the engineer is going to push in on main to get that plant. But when main isn't planted, you should have such a heavy Dynamite east event. Planted. And they just had nothing. He just strolled around the back. Not any problems. And even now, there's only really one person on east. So, uh, a kill out did just come from, from Turbot though. So, not much of a problem there. Mazza is going to sit back. He might do a little jump here. He is, he is seemingly trying to attempt the jump onto the roof here. He's getting off a, a couple of shots. He needs to just... I'd say he just needs to go standard route. It doesn't look like Turbo have much of a defense on this east part. It's just a one or two man defense. Even a boost would be able to get this one. Lots of crossfire. Lots of sneaky Turbo players. All you can see is their heads. Very hard to deal with that. And the strike goes up towards east. He's going to be able to push around the back of the tank depot as well. This could change the angle dramatically. Doesn't get a kill, but he knows east parts are pretty clear now. Two guys still left on East as five five um, players push in. Calibri gets a double landmine kill. That was pretty fortunate. That's actually going to shut down that attack. Really, really fortunate for Turbot because it looks like they were just about to get overrun at East. Um, Turbot seemingly living on the edge after it was a, a pretty straightforward Adler Nest win to take the 2 0 lead. Uh, we're now waiting for Cat in the Hat just to get things going. We see. Nice little trick jump from Haz. He's going to be able to get up to the east parts. Take them a little bit by surprise. And that's going to free up the back push. We see revive, a revive coming in. But Stati actually gets dropped. Sorry about this. I am I'm sneezing like hell. Um, as Turbot is still dealing with these guys. Coming from behind the tank depot. And Turbot getting two three mans all over the place we see Swanidius pick up a three man then Stati pick up a three kill and uh, now Calibri is going to come in and just get some kills as well and they're, they're just walking into this crossfire this is really playing into their hands no strike no shooting from uh, Cat in the Hat here and that is that is a reasonable strike that's going to keep them clear off of uh, the left hand side of the nice kill as well but they're, they're putting a lot of a lot of pressure on these east parts when I don't know maybe now that they switched around it is very very overly defended It'd be very hard to break this down maybe a push onto fate would uh, would help that nice shooting from Wally he's the last man alive now he is gonna kill out this should give them the the objective now 
The respawn comes in, Calibri killing someone just as they're getting up. What is going on? Hat in the hat, just getting mowed down. I don't know how Turbo are holding on. We, hit, we see the fake push that I was talking about. I think this needed to come in just to force a bit of a rotation. They've now got three guys on main. And uh, we have actually what, a couple of guys pushing main. And they're going to get in a couple of kills. And this, this is good. Nice spam grenade from Voki. Gets up at the double kill. Swanidius as well. Voki continues that. As does Swanny. And again, just cat in the hat getting mowed down at every corner. Uh, they're getting some nice revives in though, but they just don't seem to be able to break through. As has actually managed to make his way into their spawn. He's not going to be able to pick up the frag. He does. And that should really, this really should be East taken now. It's going to be Stati left alone. He does get killed and has is going to be able to get away with this. And he's just play it safe. Go, that's it. Go the right side. And he's going to push towards CP. I don't think they're going to be able to push towards this to, for the secure. I think they'll probably leave it on main as well. That is a really nice um, East hold from uh, the Turbot guy. Six minutes. Uh, you can't really complain too much about that as they're going to be able to push out main now. I'm going to pick up Voki. He's in a pretty key position on West. He's just sitting on the parts. We normally see a field up in this position. But at the moment, it's going to be Voki on as a medic. Getting a lot of free shots off towards Fake. As the push is coming in across the bridge. He's going to be able to take this guy down as well. It is Woods getting dropped. And uh, just going to pick up a bit of free cam. As the east parts you saw just bounced in main, as I said, they were going to leave that alone. Generally, is the way it's got, it goes. Very hard to secure east parts without destroying your west defense. So, nicely played. They've only got our defense for another five minutes. And if, of course, if they defend for the next five minutes, they have secured the victory um, of this game. A full hold would be enough for the turbo guys. And again, we're seeing the cheeky headshots. The heads poke up of the turret players. That's all we can see on these west parts. Very hard to deal with that. And you can't actually see the, all the body. Hard to track just just the head. Uh, what he's going to get off a nice couple of shots on RSP from the bridge. And the push comes in from, from delivery. He should get taken down. RSP. No. That was, uh, that was a pretty simple shot for RSP. Pressure getting to him a little bit. So uh, we see Swanny and Stati still feeling safe to spawn in this main spawn. They, they haven't really been forced back yet. Uh, a couple of the cat and the hat players come in now. And this could be the, the chance they have to just force the uh, the turbot players to spawn back. Stati takes quite a bit of damage. He is on he was on around 80 health. He's uh gonna get backed up seemingly on the spawn. Swanny does spawn in again. And I'm going to pick up someone on the attack now. I'm going to pick up Woot. They're going to push through this um, corridor area from main. Getting off some shots as well. Decides to kill out. They just need to push around the back of the spawn. Say this about radar. You, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know how to break down a defense, just play the basics. Force them to spawn all at the house on west. And uh, at the moment, they're just not doing that. Swanny and Stati freely respawning in the main building every time. And this could be the chance Tombo could get both these kills. So unfortunate. If only had one guy backing him up, it would have been all cleared out. And that would have been that, the, the situation that we, I said about. They need to just force that. And every time it's ones or twos, they're not they're not giving. And has they're going to probably respawn here again because they don't feel there's much pressure on them. As here we go. Because they know there's only one or two players. Has is by himself at the moment. Uh, as he gets a little bit of backup. Nice shooting by Has. They're going to actually push across from West, it looks like, as well. Now, there you go. You're forcing them back into West. Wally's going to push towards his main spawn. And this is good work by the Cat in the Hat guys. There's four guys in this main spawn. But it's taken them like five minutes to get this done after getting East. And this should be done within 30 seconds. Just overwhelm these, uh, this spawn. And let's see if anyone respawns in this area. It doesn't look like anyone did for Axis. So they're going to force them all the way back. If we go free camp here, we should see quite a lot of Axis players. One, two, three, four. Well, maybe they did spawn behind them. I didn't actually notice anything. Nice strike. That could get a kill. Voki just backs off in time. It does actually get a gib. There's only three men alive at these west parts. Cat in the hat. Oh, very sneaky play from Oldensan. And the objective actually does get taken. 
but um, it gets dropped instantly on the parts. Uh, Sneaky mine still intact as well. The turbot holding on, and they probably won't respawn at the main building. Only Staty does. Olden and Swanee is going to go in to back him up. And this is pretty amazing, amazing play from, from Turbot. Just knowing when to spawn there, knowing when not. Uh, they haven't really seen them make a poor decision in that case just yet. And they only need to hold for about a, a minute, a minute and a half. So with about a minute and a half. And they will secure the victory so very quickly. We will watch out the end of this game. Ventrel, Va Ventrel Dill, Ventrel Dill. Thank you very much for the follow. I did murder your name as well. Um, so, as we see, Cat and I trying to make things happen. They've only got a minute left. They are deciding to rotate to this main push. They need to get kills out on this respawn. We we'll probably see Swanee and Stati respawn again safely, and they are indeed in the main spawn. Stati getting a lot of shots off. He actually does get taken down, so they may be able to make moves. 45 seconds left. And we're going to pick up Voki for most of this. He's in a really key position here. He's going to be able to see it all. As uh, he seems to be rotating a lot, waiting for those calls. And they might be boosting. He knows they might be boosting. He's in position to stop that happening. Can't really see anyone pushing towards him. He's sort of expecting a cat in the hat swarm to just come towards him, but it's just not happening. And uh, it looks like someone jumped up. I say he's going to see it all. He totally missed that. He's actually going to leave that down on the road, probably. No, he does secure it. And this looks like a full hold from Turbo. Unless Mazza can do something special, Wally, in fact, picks up a long-range kill with the MP40. So that's going to be a full hold and a game victory. We are going to see uh, the second half of the, the attack, though. We are going to pick up the attack um, just to finish off the game. But this is definitely Turbot going through, guys. There's no doubt about that. Um, to be expected, I think. These these guys finished second in the Summer Cup. They've always been a strong team. Very experienced lineup. Uh, let's have a little look at the frags. We see a lot of kills coming in for Wally. Having a really good game. Swanidius and Stati on the spawn. Doing masses of damage as well. On the attack, has Mazza and Tomba picking up pretty good kills themselves. Um, and the damage spread does seem to be pretty, pretty fair. Uh... I think Woot was the engineer, so no big deal there. Um, so, we have a lot of complainer, complainer from Letu about damage given per frag. Five frags, 2,700 damage. Oh, 2,800 damage. Prepare that is fight. not nice. 600 damage a kill, maybe. Um, so, yeah. That should be like three frags, but instead it's only one. So, we're going to see the last attack. This is a confirmed victory for Turbo. Can they close out a 4-0 win? Or is this going to go to a 3-1? And with a Cat and Hat getting a bit of a consolation, they have to get a full hold here. It's going to be very difficult. Turbo very confident on this sort of map. Wally continuing his uh, early domination with double kill on the Thompson as Turbo pushed heavily. Four kills coming in. And Cat in the Hat unfortunately pick up the respawn. RSP going to push towards this main area. And he's maybe going to go around behind them. He's going to catch Calibri on the respawn. And that's an engineer. Doesn't take him down. Not the best of shooting. Mazza gets a nice triple kill. And that's going to shut down that push towards side. So they may be able to get in there for the defuse. Stati playing very, very sneaky. Nice nade from Voki. And that, that two-man defense might be able to be... Might be able to get things done. Like Stati, last man alive. No engineer is going to close in for that defuse. So we're going to see... It's dynamite blowing in around about 8 seconds, as you can see. Stati trying to do the jump. Is he going to get caught out? No, he actually gets up just in time as that dynamite blows. We and the side, side is going to be all clear. I'm post. not sure what the defense is like. There is only the rifle inside. Tomba tries to rotate around. Stati actually takes him We've down. And while they have the bunker, Voki's going to push under the tunnel. Uh, under the main tunnel and push towards main to get that plant down as well. As we see a couple of guys pushing in towards side, just trying to get a bit of uh, free up a bit of damage in there. They they both take full. That was a really strange choice there. And uh, we also see a push to remain trying to get the defuse down. And it looks like Canna have already defended longer than Turbo have at side. Just for it only had to defend for pretty much three or four seconds, and that would have been the case. 
Okay, so I need a two-man defense at the moment. Has and Mazza. And I'm going to switch up. RSP has joined them. Three kills coming in for, for Cat in the Hat on main. And they might be might be doing a cheeky defuse at the moment. I'll we'll have to switch up and, and see. They did reclaim the flag. So uh, the main that's going to just make Steal the, radar the allies... Uh, actually, it doesn't force them. They just respawned in time as main blew the... The flag was guaranteed there's see a lot of mines going down on main from Wood. And um, this side defense is gonna have to hold strong as a lot of turret players are coming in. A uh, nice double grenade from Tomba through the top door. And uh, has managed to back off the MG just in time. And um, is blasted by a, a rifle grenade. Tomba continuing that little spree. A nice grenade kill again. He wants ammo, give me ammo. <laughs> Uh, four man defense for Cat in the Hat outside. This is looking strong at the moment. No real pressure has come in from Turbot though. Uh, you see Mazza having a little peek. He does see there's quite a few there. Has very low health there. Gets insta gived by the Panzer, but with only about 100 health, not, not even that, it was about 10 health. He's not going to be able to do much anyway. Nice nade coming in from Mazza. We see a pause. And uh, not quite sure what that pause is about. So we're going to wait for the unpause guys. It did come in from the from the allies. Swanee fell asleep. Let me see another follow. Thank you very much Jonas99. Anyone who's in the channel who hasn't hit follow, please do. Um, any of my followers can just check in my profile. There's a giveaway that I'm doing at the moment for Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Um, so just all you have to do is click the link there and then hit the tick button. I think if you're already a follower, it's, it will basically um, enter you seven times into the giveaway. There are a couple of extra ways you can enter, but there's no need to do those if you don't want to. Uh, they just get, give you little bonuses while supporting my channel and uh, everything I'm trying to do Prepare at the moment fight. at the same time. Um, but we're going to get back into this game five seconds before the unpause. Turbo are pushing towards sight. I did see a sneaky Axis player behind them. Fight. I'm going to try and pick him up. Calibri's going to probably be taken down. Calibri did seem to be rather slightly AFK there. As we see, a main push coming from Turbo. This is going to force the rotation of Cat in the Hat, who have got quite a good CP defense on the go at the moment. And there doesn't seem to be any defense from the, uh, from the Cat in the Hat team. They're going to push towards this east area. They're actually going to just push towards their spawn. And I've never seen this before. Just the takeover of spawn on the push through main. Uh, lots of kills coming in for Calibri. Gets a double Thompson kill. Voki's going to pick up a frag as well. And they really should be able to pick up west in this situation. Olden Sand does. He's going to be able to push through main. And the east parts are coming through main as well. Wally's going to be a little bit behind. They will respawn will come in. Uh, here comes the respawn from Axis. He's going to just keep pushing. He does make it through. Oh, the big Panzerfaust from Letu. Last man alive. Really amazing play from Tomba. Oh my god, Voki. Voki picks up that kill. I had no idea. What an amazing frag. Really well played. And uh, I didn't hit scores in time. That was just an amazing finish. I was like, well done. Tomba, you did it. You, you, you saved the day. And Voki came out of nowhere and just destroyed him. That is going to be game. Uh, really well played for um, for Turbot. Such a quick game, guys. That is such a quick game.